Do you feel that you are not able to manifest whatever it is that you desire because your circumstances, the society, your family, your job, you yourself always come in your way every single time? I'm here to tell you today that your circumstances do not matter. And I'll also share with you how. So stay tuned and let's just remove this limiting belief out of you so that you can manifest whatever it is that you desire right now. So, do your life circumstances or life in general always gets in the way of you manifesting whatever it is that you desire? You are not able to get that car, you don't have the specific person and you are going broke? Today, let me help you identify why your circumstances do not matter and why you should not give a single damn about your circumstances. So, what are your life's circumstances? Here is a big misconception with manifestation. People feel that you are going to manifest something specific. But the thing is that your life, the life that you are living right now is a manifestation in itself. So, your circumstances essentially were created by your thoughts, maybe yesterday, maybe a month ago, maybe an year ago, sometimes years ago. I've worked with clients who have stuck onto some trauma that was that happened to them when they were children and it is still affecting their life. The thing is that your circumstances are a manifestation of your own thoughts. If bad things are happening to you, if nothing is going your way, if your boss always finds ways to scold you, always finds some flaw in your work, you are doing it subconsciously. And do you want to, you know, identify if it's your doing? I want you to stop and pause right now and think about what your inner mental conversation with anybody is. So let's say you are uh, struggling in your job and your boss and your colleagues always keep finding ways to find fault with your work. Pause right now and think what your inner conversation with those people is. I guarantee you, you are always fighting with them. You are always defending yourself against them. And I, I can guarantee this because I've been there. There was a time when I was working at an organization which was, you know, a bit... The work culture was not that good and uh, initially when I was doing good, I was having, you know, happy, healthy conversations with my boss, with my colleagues. But then when I saw other people, you know, get busted for bad work, I started to feel that I'm going to be next. And then when actually, because I started to feel when that something bad is going to happen to me as well, something did which was, you know, it was false actually. So somebody actually put blame on me for something that they did. And I just, you know, started fighting with my boss and fighting with my colleagues internally because I could not say it out loud externally. I could not say bad things to them. I could not do anything. I, I felt powerless at that moment, which is again an issue of self-concept, but I felt powerless in that moment and I would fight with them all day. It would be like, if they heard my inner conversation, they would be so scared of me that they would never dare to say anything against me next. But my inner conversations were full of wrath and anger against my colleagues. What happened? My situation kept getting worse. And it only changed when I stopped blaming them, stopped getting angry on them and stopped fighting with them in my mental conversations. If you are struggling with anything, if your parents are not supportive and, and let me tell you, the 3D reality is so real that you must feel that I'm bullshitting right now, but I'm not. I want you to give it a try. Stop arguing with people in your mind and start visualizing them giving you praises. This actually happened to me. I mean, you won't believe that in a manner of like a month. I was amongst the most praised employees of that department. 
within a month. It changes that fast. I mean, when I stopped fighting with them in my mind, opportunities came up within like a day or two and then I started doing well and then they started praising me for my work. It's that Important. I mean, your mental conversations with other people, with yourself, are creating your circumstances right now. Your circumstances do not matter. Your circumstances have no power over you. So stop fighting with yourself, shooting yourself in the foot in your own brain. Do you want proof of it? I challenge you, I literally challenge you, if you feel that I am lying right now, if everything that I am saying is wrong, I challenge you to, for the next one week, seven days, you will see the results in a couple of days, but for the next one week, I want you to stop fighting with other people in your brain, to stop blaming your circumstances, to stop seeing how money is not there for you, to stop seeing anything be a bit delusional because you are only delusional until it happens when it happens it's your reality so be delusional till it happens for just one week you're struggling with your colleagues start thinking mentally in your brain see them congratulating you appreciating your work it is going to work out i am a testimonial myself it has worked out for me to a point where everybody was like, she's doing such a good work. Your circumstances do not matter. Your circumstances are literally a result of your own inner conversation. So you, the only thing that you need to do right now to change your circumstances from you failing and not doing well to you succeeding in life, making more money and manifesting everything you desire is by changing your inner self conversation think about what you can do right now every time you find yourself blaming somebody for something blaming circumstances blaming something you are actually attracting more of that energy because this is how manifestation works you get who you are and if you are somebody who always finds an opportunity to blame someone else you will continue to blame other people and I know that at times the people in our lives, the circumstances of our lives are terrible and you want to blame them. But remember the cost at which you are doing this. The moment you continue to blame them is the moment you choose for yourself to have such circumstances continue propagating in your life. You set yourself up for failure. Do you want to do that? I don't want that for you. I want you to stop not being able to manifest your desires. So your task today is I literally challenge you and I want you to come back to this video and share your testimonial when you actually change your life. In your mind, stop blaming the circumstances and start thinking how it would be like when these circumstances actually work out in your favor. This is also something I covered extensively in my course, The Vortex of Riches, where we help you unlock your $10,000 a month through my three-month extensive life coaching program. So if you are interested in joining, you can drop me an email at manifestwithneha at the red gmail.com. Email me the keyword rich and I will reach out to you. Or you could send me a message on my Instagram channel, the link to which will be in the description box below. With that, remember... Always that your circumstances are a result of your current thought process and your current self-concept and these circumstances will change the moment you decide that they change. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or how you felt about this video or you would like me to make a video about something that you're confused about and I'll make sure that I do that. Do give this video a like because I know it has been life changing for you. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. If you are not subscribed yet, press that subscription button and the bell icon because I share with you law of assumption, law of attraction and manifestation tips, tricks and psychology every single day. So with that, thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.